Hello everybody! And thank you so much for stopping by on this channel. If you're new to this channel, then welcome. My name is The Fluffy Mane and I like to upload some Pokemon content on this channel and it can vary in different kind of content. I like to open up some different Pokemon products to see what we can find in these products, but I also like to play video games. Mainly I really like to play Sword and Shield to search for some beautiful shiny Pokemon, but I love to open up some Pokemon cards. So if you do like all different kind of content, then don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and also leave the notification bell on to know when I will post some new videos. So thank you all so much. In today's video, I want to open up a beautiful Pokemon tin and it's from a set that I really like a lot. We, as you can see, we have this Eevee Elite Trainer box from a set called Shining Fates. But I want to open up a tin which is similar to the Shining Fate set. And as we can see now, we have our beautiful Pikachu playmat. And I want to open up a set from Hidden Fates and then this beautiful tin of Raichu. I really like Hidden Fates a lot. Maybe a little bit more because they have a little more full art cards than what they have in Shining Face because they have more baby shiny Pokemon, which is extremely cute too, but they do have Eevee evolutions in Hidden Fates. And I haven't completed the set yet, so I was really happy to find this beautiful tin, which wasn't, well, it wasn't really retail price. It was a little higher, but I was very happy to find these tins because it's very hard now in Europe to find even these tins because they were sold out very quickly. So I would like to open this one up for the channel. This beautiful Raichu tin is one of the tins that I really like. I also already opened up the Gyarados tin on this channel. So if you want to see what my pull rates were on that tin, then please check out the video. And then in this one we can see we were going to search what we can find in these in this beautiful tin. If we look at the back, you can also see there the three Pokemon different tins that they have, which we have the Raichu, Gyarados, and the Charizard tin as well. And then as you can see, it's the set called Hidden Fates. And then you can see here what we can have in the tins. We do have four different Hidden Fates booster packs and then the code card for the online TCG. And then also one of the three foil promo cards. And in this set, we have the cute Raichu card. So I do want to open up this tin. So let's see what is inside. These tins do have a little different wrapping though because it's um, different plastic before it was really wrapped all over. So I don't need any scissors because it's really easier now to open it up. And then look at this. I really like that they use some kind of honeycomb theme because uh, I'm not really sure, but I really do like that they have chosen that one because it's then a little subtle because then this beautiful right you can really pop out of the picture. See if they have the carbon inside. There we have it. We do have the like the honeycomb look on the beautiful carbon. I really do like the displays, which we do have displays, so you can just place it like this. Let us check out. Give you guys first this code card of the Hidden Fate Stin of the Raichu GX. There you all go. And then we have this cute Raichu GX promo card. This was Sun and Moon 213. Not really sure how far all those promo cards go and what the biggest number was from one of the sets. So um, if anybody knows, then please let me know because I'm very curious because I think that 213 sounds very far. They always start with a new set with number one. So. I want to sleeve this up in this cute Elite Trainer Box sleeve of Pikachu from Darkness Ablaze. Was it Darkness Ablaze? Vivid Vol Vivid Voltage, not Darkness Ablaze. From the Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box. Well, look at this cute Raichu. All those sets are a little bit <laughs> almost the same for me because they have a lot of Pikachus in different sets too. <laughs> and then we have our four booster packs and then the tin is empty with also a carbon inside, which is very good. And then let's see if we do have, we do have four booster packs, so that's good. Thank you, Pokemon, for doing that. And then, um, just to do it like this. I do leave the Charizard for last to maybe have some luck with a Charizard. 
I'm not really expecting anything though. We do have the cute Mew. I pulled a lot of the birds though, and I do like Mew too as well. So let's open out the packs and then see what is inside. Wondering what we are going to pull. I hope we do see a baby shiny Pokemon. I'll do three from the back because if we have a matching energy card with a regular rare card I will give an extra code card away and if we have a rare reverse or a hollow or better I will give an extra code card away. So let's see what this first pack is going to give us. Starting out with a Sabrina's Suggestion, Misty's Determination and a Metapod. We have a Cubo, Voltor, Geodude, Cute Eevee. We do have a Clefairy, we got a Reverse, ooh, rare Brock's Training, and ooh, the Zapdos Hollow with a Hello Fairy Energy, with a beautiful Hollow Zapdos. Let's just sleeve up this Zapdos Hollow. So I want to first give you all this code card of Hidden Fates. There you go. And then because we have a Brock's Training Reverse Rare, I want to give this code card of X and Y Breakpoint. There you go. And because we have the Hollow Zapdos, I want to give a code card of Fates Collide. And then let's open up the next pack, which is the one of the, with the Bird Trio. I'm wondering what all your favorite set is. If it was also this Hidden Fates or Shining Fates, let me all know. And three from the back. And then we start off with Charmeleon, Magmar, Scyther, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke. We have a Shiny Turtonator GX and a Wigglytuff that's unbelievable with a leaf energy. I needed this Wigglytuff and I think I might need this Turtonator as well. That's awesome. I still need Onyx though and um, the Geo Funny card. So then I do have my basic set almost complete except for the reverses which is also very hard to uh, complete those but this would be an awesome expansion for my set i'm very happy with the beautiful turtonator and the wiggly top so that's amazing going to sleeve those both cards up that's also what i do like from as well as shining face as hidden face that you can pull like double pulls sleeve this cute wiggly top up i'm so happy i pulled you and I'm very happy with this Turtonator too. It looks very awesome. I haven't really played a lot with Turtonator in the video games though, because I really was not a big fan of um, Sun and Moon. But I do like the Pokemon in them. I didn't just like the, the game mechanics there. Here I have you guys the code card of Hidden Fates. There you go. Then because we have so many beautiful pulls, we start off with the Turtonator GX. We have here the X and Y breakthrough card. There you go. And because we have a wiggly top, I give a code card for a Primal Clash. There you all go. A lot of different code cards as well. And then we still have two packs to go. I cannot even believe what we already pulled. So see what Mew can give us as well. The tree from the back. And then let's start. We start first with this Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Search's Strategy, Magmar, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, we got the cute Pikachu, we got a regular um, common reverse Staryu, and um, Blaine's Last Stand with a Fighting Energy. That's nothing really special, but I do like the Staryu reverse. Then we have the code card Hidden Fates, there you all go. And then we have the last pack, shield the last pack, be last pack magic. I'm not sure we can see. I really had a lot of fun opening up Hidden Fates. So let's see what the last pack can give us. We have our Brock's Pewter City Gym, 
a Metapod, Geophonics Exile. That's the card that I need, but then a full art too. We have a Voltorb, the Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Ekans. Oh, reverse Pikachu! And then we end up a rainbow. <gasps> we have a Geophonics Exile! It's not a rainbow, it's the Geophonics Exile! And then the darkest energy. Yeah, you're dark. <laughs> because you're a fairy. Not sweet to everybody. <laughs> I cannot believe this. This was exactly one of the cards that I need. So that means that I only need Onyx to complete the basic set without my reverses. Oh, that would be so awesome. I really was not expecting this at all. Unbelievable. Hidden Fates, this was such an amazing Raichu box already. So giving you all the code card for Hidden Fates, there you all go. And then because we have, and I'm happy with that Pikachu reverse as well. And then because we have the Giovanni's Exile, I want to give an extra code card away, which will be this one of the Collector's Chest of Armored Mewtwo. Pikachu and Charizard. There you all go. I think it's very fitting because of the Armored Mewtwo, which is found in uh, Giovanni's gym or somewhere where Giovanni was hidden Mewtwo. So let's do the recap, see what is inside, with, see what we have pulled. I'm very flabbergasted because we did have a lot of beautiful pulls inside of today's tin. Let's start with Blaine's stand. That was the only regular wear what we have pulled. Then we had a Zapdos Hollow, which from the Bird Trio, Zapdos is my favorite. Then we have the shiny Full Art Turtonator GX. And if that wasn't enough, we also pulled a Wiggly Tough GX, one of the cards that I was still needing. And then Giovanni's Exile, which was one of the cards that I also needed for my set to have it already really filled up. So I'm very grateful for all the pulls that we have pulled thanks to this beautiful GX of Raichu. So I'm very happy. So if you guys do like some of more of these kind of openings, then don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and also like to comment with all of you. So leave some comments below so that I can get to know the community just a little bit better. I already see a lot of you all in the chats as well when I have my premieres on. So thank you so much for those conversations. I really do appreciate it that you are watching the videos and thank you all so much. And then I hope to see you all in my next video. Thank you all so much.